So good morning one and all in this video I'm going to be talking about how to calculate distance between two cities or a basically a latitude and a longitude of two points using Haversine's equation. So let me basically talk about Haversine's a little bit. Let me explain you what Haversine is exactly. So let me read the definition. The Haversine formula determines the great circle distance between two points on a sphere given their longitude and latitude important in navigation it is a special case of more general formula in spherical trigonometry the law have signs uh, that relates the sides of angles of a spherical triangle okay so let me uh, understand let me actually show you the mathematics a little bit and let's try to understand this a little bit so have sign theta is basically sine square theta by 2 right so if you want to calculate the distance, uh, this is the formula d, b, d by r haversine phi 2 minus phi 1 plus cos of phi 1 into cos of phi 2 into haversine of lambda 2 minus lambda 1. Now you'll say, oh, okay, what the hell is like these stuff, okay? So psi 2 minus psi 1, psi 2 is the latitude uh, of point 1, psi 1 is the latitude of point 2. And similarly, um, lambda 2 and lambda 1 are basically the longitude of point 1a and point b, okay? Now, basically, the Haver sign is basically a Haver sign. We can think of the theta is basically sine square theta by two. Okay, and then basically, if you want to calculate the distance, right? So if you scroll down, distance is basically Haver sign inverse so of h, which is nothing but two twice of r, therefore two into r sine inverse of root h. So basically, this is the entire formula for distance in short, if you want to calculate. So 2r sine inverse sine square phi 2 minus phi 1 by 2 plus cos phi 1 plus cos phi 2. Phi 1 and phi 2 are the basically the latitude of point A and B. Lambda 2 and lambda 1 are the longitude of point A and B. So you ca calculate this. I'm sorry for that. So you put this everything in the formula and then you would get the distance. Okay. So let me show you guys. So I, I took an example to verify this. Basically, I took an origin now of Bridgeport, Connecticut. It's a, it's a city in USA. And the destination is Darien, Connecticut. It's again a city in USA. I want to compute the distance between two of them. And um, so basically I made a function. What you can do is this basically computes that uh, have science formula. It gives a distance in kilometer, okay? So what I did is basically I just called the function distance and I passed the origin latitude longitude. And I try to run this, I get uh, the distance is 25 kilometers. If you want to verify this, um, I can also prove it to you. I'm not lying. So let's say distance between uh, Bridgeport and Darien. It's roughly about 25 to 19. So here you can see 18, 20, it's about 18.5 miles. So, and we go, it's like roughly like about 20, 25 miles. So it also depends upon what latitude and longitude you're taking. So remember that I got it as 25. So if you take a specific point in Darien or specific point in Bridgeport, it's gonna vary, right? But we are, we, it's pretty accurate. The Havers and formula is pretty accurate. It gives the distance in kilometer. Now, if you wanna convert that into a miles, so you can easily say kilometers to mile conversions. So one kilometer is basically 0 0.26 miles. So, uh, sorry, one. So you can, what you can do, ah, damn it. So you can multiply by 0 0.62371. Um, so let me do that. So uh, I'm gonna say print, uh, let me do this way. Distance in miles. So I'm gonna call the formula distance. Um, then I'm gonna pass the origin. Origin. I'm gonna pass the destination. Once I get the formula, I'm gonna basically try to multiply by the formula zero point this. This should give me the distance in miles. And here you can see it's about 16 miles. So 25 kilometers is about hmm, 16 miles roughly. So we can verify that. Ah, yeah. So you can see I pasted the entire like kilometer and it's giving me 16 miles. So it works fine, right? So hope you will enjoy this tutorial. This could be used in a lot of things. Let's say you have a lot of JSON document with Latin long and you want to get uh, people who are in New York and within 25 miles of radius. So you calculate the distance, then you would say if the distance is less than 25, then show me the result else not. So you see how amazing things you can do with Haversine's equation. So let me do this way. I'm going to put uh, the reading materials for you. So the, the Wikipedia page are here. And I'm also going to put uh, this page right here. 
So hope you have enjoyed this tutorial on how to calculate uh, distance using Haber Science formula. If so, do give a like. Have questions? Kindly post it in the comments and see you in the next video. As usual, guys, keep smiling, keep coding. See you guys next time.